My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. What's going on, my brothers and sisters? Hope everybody's having a good weekend, first off, okay? um, Today, we are here to talk about not me. I'm trying to point at my uh, chair. <laughs> Today we are here to talk about gaming chairs, man. I'm sure you guys have noticed, you know, for the past few videos, probably probably since E3, I've had, you know, a, a new gaming chair. You know, for the people that's been watching me throughout the years, I've I've always been in like like lawn chairs or, <laughs> or like camping chairs or generic like classroom chairs you know that you could get from staples or walmart whatever you like you know those little like those are uh, plastic chairs I I've, I've always been sitting in stuff like that so like this is like a huge upgrade for me <laughs> you know still a lot a lot of people do not have them you're starting to see them become more popular as far as like with youtubers or like streamers and stuff like that it seems like if you're a streamer Everyone has a gaming chair, and the mo and most likely the gaming chair they got is a DX Racer. That's like the most popular gaming chair out there. So I I really just wanted wanted to talk about gaming chairs as far as like with someone that's always been gaming in like a generic classroom or like a lawn chair. <laughs> I wanted to talk about my experience thus far and why you don't necessarily need to break your wallet to get a gaming chair because when you the most popular gaming chair is again the dx racer you know when you look at chairs like that they're all 300 plus dollars and it's like am i really going to spend that much money for a chair my dude <laughs> you know and that was my whole mindset going into this jump so i'm gonna tell you guys my experience thus far was you know as far as going from what i used to sit in which was this big behind lawn chair <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all my experience, you know, so far with this and why you don't have to break your bank account or wallet, you know, to get, you know, a good, you know, qual a quality gaming chair. So let's get into it. Uh, so again, like you guys know, I've been sitting in lawn chairs and camping chairs <laughs> <laughs> and like generic classroom, you know, plastic. I don't, I don't even know if they're plastic or st they can't be steel are they still i don't know but you know i've been sitting in those like chairs or like those outdoor cookout chairs that's also what you know what i like to call them <laughs> you know those those outdoor cookout generic classroom chairs or like the lawn chairs you know that i've been sitting in for years now and, and when you're just like sitting in that stuff you you don't even really put thought into it like you know like what goes into making a good chair like all you're thinking at that time is like hey this is a chair and it supports me from falling on the floor <laughs> like i i was never thinking about like all the stuff that goes into like what makes a good you know chair and stuff like that it, it, was, it was just like that's what a chair was for me this lawn chair that i got this is just so huge i gotta lift it up like this <laughs> but this lawn chair that i got from uh bj's i think or they sell them at sam's club as well say, say what you want this junk is comfortable as free i still love them. <laughs> I personally still love this chair. You gotta, again, a lot of people that do not have a game chair, you have to look at it like this. A lot a lot of these suckers, when they are playing games, they are either sitting on their bed playing games or sitting, shout out to JKB, one of my viewers, this sucker sits on the floor <laughs> while he's playing games. A lot of these people that do not have a game chair, it is absolutely blasphemous to hear the idea of paying 300 plus dollars for a chair still to this day i did not get at first i was wanting to get a dx racer but I, I i could not justify even with me having the money i could not justify spending 300 plus dollars on a chair you know so if you're taking a person that has never had a game chair and you're telling them hey if you want a good game chair you you, 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 you have to spend three hundred plus dollars. They gonna be like, um, no, thank you. I think I'll continue to sit on the floor. <laughs> you know what finally led me to get in this chair was uh, a few months ago. 
I think I was live streaming at uh, at the time. I was sitting in one of those outdoor cookout chairs, you know, that I bought from Staples for like maybe ten dollars. And I knew I shouldn't have have been doing what I was doing in it, but I didn't really care because I've been through those chairs so many different times. So I was like leaning backwards, so like the two front legs was like lifted off the floor. Freaking fell out the chair live on stream. Suckers started laughing at me, but I but I heard as soon as I fell, the like the back legs snapped, and I'm just like, guess I got, I guess I have to spend another ten dollars, you know. But eventually, you get tired of that. You know, so you start looking around again. The most popular chair that even even when I had bought, um, because I think I started really talking about it like last year, um, like when I was like live streaming. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of tired of like buying these same chairs that keep on breaking like three months from now. You know, what's some good game? You know, what's some good game chairs to get? And what's the first chair that was recommended? You think DX Racers? DX Racers are I don't know how they became the most popular chair you know but when you hear gaming chairs the first thing that's going to be recommended if not the first is going to be in like the top three dx racers dx racers every time you know you like you see a review of a of a dx racer is some white kid from phase or optic like oh my gosh this is the best gaming chair i've ever had in my life you know just like thank you dx racer for uh sending me this i'm just like so you said all that good, good, uh, good stuff, and you got this chair for free, <laughs> you know. So you kind of have to be like, a lot of these people that are doing reviews on these DX racers, they're getting sent them. So of course these suckers ain't going to be like really critical on on the chair. You're only going to, going to be critical as if you actually spent your money towards that chair, you know. But DX racers are the most popular game chair out there. You got, but you got a whole different like host of chairs you got the dx racers you got the um what's another one i i, I see you again you have to understand these gaming chairs are very popular if you like stream on twitch or like you know you do youtube and stuff like that um but you're starting to see like more and more people get them but dx racers um i think one's called seek a uh, secret labs or something like that you got the vert the uh, vertigear chairs you got the GT Omega, the GT Omega racing chairs. Like there's a wide assortment of different chairs out there and they, you know, range from different price points, you know. Um, but before I got this chair, I was always told if you want a good game chair, go with DX Racer. You have to spend 300 plus dollars to get a good gaming chair. I'm like, yeah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing it, you know, so. Um, going back to like last year at, at, at one point i had like at least maybe 10 to 12 chairs just saved in my cart on amazon i had so many different chairs in like my freaking cart i'm like okay i'm i'm gonna just look at the reviews of these chairs and like see you know how like what people are, are saying about them and i i feel like when it comes to like game chairs you, you you're you're always going to have like uh, those reviews that are like very like pro the chair. They're like, oh my God, this chair is amazing. It's the best chair I ever had. There's no chair better than this one. If you want a game chair to go with this one. But you also have those reviews that, you know, are more um, critical of the chair. Because even with this chair that I got, like this chair kind of, I mean, it has good reviews, but it also has like some bad reviews. And I'm talking about like some one two like two like two star reviews so at one point i was very hesitant on buying this chair this chair cost me uh 150 so i spent half the price of what you paid for well not even 150 it cost me 142 i think so i kind of spent like half the price of what you pay for a dx racer you know but um this is me from like looking at dx racers like i think the dx racer that i was looking at it cost like maybe 350 and i was about to actually purchase the junk and i'm like no i'm not going <laughs> no i'm not why spend that much on a dx racer when i can get a nintendo switch for a freaking chair i i would prefer to get a new console than a chair I, I'm, I'm sorry like there there's there even with me having the money i could not justify <laughs> if i'm spending that much for a chair i better feel like i'm on the cloud a thousand percent of the time that junk bed to be massaging every crevice of my body 
that junk better be giving me sex <laughs> at this point because there, there's no way i'm spending that much on the chair uh so this is a respawn chair i think um because they got different like series of these chairs i think this is the respawn like 110 or something like that but it goes all 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 the way up to like three or four hundred i'm like okay <laughs> you know but um so yeah this is a a, a respawn chair um, there's two things I do not like about this chair and you know uh, again going from what I used to sit on not really knowing no better of like I didn't even put thought into like getting a game chair to the game and I'm just like why do I need a chair to game and I'll just freaking game in like a freaking I'll get I'll game on the floor if I have to like a lot of people don't put like the uh, thought of like how comfortable you are playing games is just like do I have a place to sit? Okay, let's 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 start playing some games, you know. And that's like the mindset I had. But you know, again, eventually after getting tired of breaking chair after chair after chair, being too low on the ground with these lawn chairs, you know, um, that's what really led me into finally getting a gaming chair. So there's two things I don't like like about this chair. One is this: like all these gaming chairs, they come with like these headrests. On them and you're supposed to like strap them on like the back I like I like put out some um because when I got this chair and I assembled it which it wasn't really hard to assemble um you know I like recorded you know uh, parts of like the chair and like me as uh, and me assembling the uh, chair so I like show some parts uh, of that but a lot of these game chairs come with um these head these head these headrests on them and you're supposed to like attach them to like the back and while you're gaming it's i think it's like for neck and head support so like, i tried to put this junk on that first day i'm like uh-uh <laughs> i threw it away ever since never even tried to attempt to put it on again i just felt like no this is this doesn't even feel like comfortable i just feel like this is doing too much <laughs> so i took it off and never put it back on however the lumbar support which i'm not maybe i should uh should I un un unplug it or unsnap it? No, it takes too much effort. I don't feel like it. But <laughs> the 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 uh, lumbar support. These gaming chairs also come with this thing called lum lumbar support. Again, I'm going from sitting in lawn in 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 lawn chairs and outdoor cookout chairs. I don't know what lumbar support means, you know. But the lumbar support is for like supporting your lower back and stuff like that. And when I first put this junk on it felt weird but i kept it there for some reason that junk has not been moved ever since you it it's crazy how much this junk helps but before it didn't even mean nothing to me like i don't need lumbar support <laughs> to play video games this junk actually is comfortable i love the lumbar support uh you know thing on uh, these chairs and these chairs also have this thing called like ergonomic chairs and it's like they're supposed to like contort to like how your body you know is and it's supposed to you know make you have great posture while playing games you don't put thought into this stuff when you sitting on a cookout <laughs> when you sitting on a cookout or a lawn chair again dx racers are the things that i was recommended the most dx racers dx racers you have to get a dx racer why do i need a dx racer because everyone else has a dx racer i'm like that's not a reason <laughs> you know but I'm, I'm looking at all these dx racer chairs and secret lab chairs and omega racing and marach they they again they got a like a whole assortment of different chairs um stuff like that they got like these great value off-brand dx racer chairs <laughs> they, they have all types of chairs you know and they range from different price points i've i've seen some some game chairs are like 80 or like 100 but almost every review was terrible i'm like nah <laughs> i'm not I'm, if i'm gonna spend 80 or uh, even a hundred dollars on a chair i want something good i'm going from paying ten dollars for a chair if i'm spending 80 or 100 I, I I don't want to see no one stars on this chair, you know. So um, again, eventually I went with this, paid like one, you know, half of what a DX racer is. Another thing that went into me getting this chair is the design of it. Say what you want. Um, one thing I do not like, and and again, I'll show you guys some like stills of like me actually like recording the uh you know this uh, whole assembly when i first got it um but one thing i really love about this chair 
is the back. I really love the back of this chair. Just, it, it just like pops out. It's like real flashy and stuff like that. One thing I did not like about at least the standard DX racers, which cost like 300. I do not like the designs of those chairs. That don't look ugly to me. <laughs> like it, it, it doesn't even look like an, an, an attractive chair. It's like, yeah, you could choose which color you want it in. But as I'm actually looking at the design of the chair, I'm like, I'm paying $300 for a chair that looks ugly. <laughs> like, I don't care how comfortable it is. It just doesn't look nice to me. This chair, not only is it comfortable, it looked nice to me. So that's, uh, it, at least for me, you know, as far as looking for my first gaming chair, that's another thing that came into play. How is the design of the chair? I personally don't like the designs of the, of the DX Racers, but to each, to each his own, you might like it, you know, but my point is if you do want to finally get a gaming chair because i know there's a whole bunch of suckers out there that do not have a game and, and and again it's not really your fault you don't put you don't put thought into even getting a chair i know exactly how these suckers are like you're sitting on on your bed or like a generic chair and it's just like i could play games in this like what's the problem <laughs> you don't you don't even put thought into it you know but if eventually you do want to look in to start getting some gaming chairs i am here to let you know right now you do not have to break your wallet to get a gaming chair you do not have to spend 300 plus dollars on a gaming chair i've seen some gaming chairs for a thousand dollars now mind you all of the reviews i saw were great i'm sure it's a great chair but if you think i'm about <laughs> If, if you think I'm about to spend a thousand dollars on a chair, I don't care if that junk, I don't care if that junk eats my cheeks like groceries while I'm sitting in it. If you think I'm about to spend a thousand plus dollars on a gaming chair, you got, to, <laughs> you got to be crazy, bro. I feel like you can find a good game chair you know um for less than 200 I, I i really feel like you can you don't want to go too low because then at that point you're still spending a lot more on a chair than you nor you know than you normally would with like a generic cookout chair or like a lawn chair you're going to still be spending like 80 or 100 on the chair that's not really good but you still spend more on uh, uh on it because it's a gaming chair and that's another thing with these brands of gaming chairs out there you have to be wary because again i'm not saying dx racer is a bad chair i'm not saying these are uh, secret secret omega labs or something or maxonomic or I'm, I'm not saying any of these chairs are bad but a lot of these chairs are at the price point they are because it's a popular brand that's just the way the world works i like i hear freaking beats by a dre like those headsets cost like five dollars to make but but like they sell them for like what 200 <laughs> so it's like that's just the way it works i don't feel like these chairs are supposed to be at, at the price point they are but because they're so popular and all and all streamers and youtubers have them and all the freaking reviews you see from dx racers sending these uh you know uh you know these people with thousands and thousands of subscribers or you know uh, uh twitch viewers and they all put out these reviews like oh my god yeah this is this, <laughs> this is the best chair ever if you see stuff like that you're going to think oh my god i have to get a dx racer now that i finally do have this um yeah it definitely does feel more comfortable playing games it does i ain't gonna lie to you it does <laughs> you know but again if you're going from playing on your bed or the floor, you know, or a cookout chair or a lawn chair, you don't even put thought into really getting a gaming chair. It's just like this chair supports me for what, you know, I'm doing at the time. I don't need a chair, but, you know, if you do want to look look into it, yeah, take the uh, advice that I just gave you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys. <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Gaming chairs, man. You do not have to break your wallet to get one. Enough said.